There are many things in this world to keep us distracted and full of worry. Join us today as we discuss priorities on Cell Life Church TV. This is Cell Life Church TV. We invite you to join the conversation with pastors Brian and Kelly as they discuss an encouraging topic that is relevant to life today. Hello. Hey there. Welcome to the Cell Life Church studio. Did you know we are just a month away from Resurrection Sunday? What are you doing to prepare your heart for this Easter Sunday? I'm doing up? what my wife tells me to do. <laughs> And some of you may be participating in Lent, where you have decided to give something up in exchange for praying and or fasting. Mm -hmm. Others of you may have decided to read a devotional series walking you through the final week of Jesus's time on earth. Mm -hmm. Maybe the idea of Easter being just a month away has caught you off guard. <laughs> Even so, we encourage you to be reading your Bible each yes. day to learn the heart of God and His plan for your life. Yes, and do what your wife tells you to do. <laughs> so in a fast-paced world and in a world of uncertainty, it is easy to be worried about life. It is tempting to think and dwell on things we cannot control. We worry about finding employment or paying the bills. We worry about the decisions our governing officials are making. We worry about those around us who are not in good health. There are several things that we can worry about on a daily basis. Yes, there is. <laughs> when we worry and allow our mind to get caught up in the things we cannot control, this causes our priorities to get out of alignment. Mm -hmm. After all, worrying cannot add an hour to our life. Yet some of us are in a constant state of worry. Yeah. Now Jesus spoke about worry and what our priority should be in Matthew chapter 6, verses 28 through 34, when he said this, And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. And if that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Amen. Amen. What some words of encouragement. Right? <laughs> the creator of the universe who clothed the flowers and the fields has the ability to take care of you. That's right. He can provide you with food. Mm -hmm. He can provide you with water. Mm -hmm. He can take care of your needs. The things we spend our time thinking about and dwelling upon become what is important to us or our priorities. So what are your priorities? To know what your priorities are, figure out what things you spend your money on or how you spend your time and the people you spend your time with. Yeah. All these things will determine your priorities in life. Mm -hmm. If you pull up your calendar or your schedule on your mobile device, what activities do you do and whom do you do them with? Mm -hmm. These questions will help you to see what is important to you. In the midst of this passage that we just read about worry, Jesus speaks about priorities and what they should be. Mm -hmm. Verse 33 says, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, mm -hmm. and all these things will be given to you as well. That's right. You see, when we seek his desires and his passions, then we have no need to worry. Amen. Amen. So what does it mean to seek God's kingdom? Well, the kingdom of God is threefold. It applies to the past, it applies to the present, and the future. God was and is and is to come. Yeah. We are given a promise when we seek him first. We find it in the next chapter of Matthew, 
we find this promise in Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 and 8. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Yes. When you seek Jesus, he will be found. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when we say yes to Jesus, we leave the door cracked for him to enter our hearts, but never open it all the way. Or maybe after a while, we begin to take the open door of our heart and slowly begin to close it. Jesus cannot transform you if he is not given full access to your heart. That's right. You got to open those doors wide. To become like Jesus, we must allow him to change us into the person he wants us to be. Amen. Our number one priority is to seek Jesus. Yeah. Seek him until you find him. And then when you find him, become like him. Yes, yes. And this brings us to the second priority of our lives, seeking his righteousness. Romans 1.17 says this, For in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith from first to last, just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. The gospel is the good news of Jesus Christ. That's right. So the righteousness of God is Jesus. Yes. When we have faith and boldly approach his throne, Jesus is faithful to hear our hearts and heal our brokenness. Yes, he is. When we seek God's righteousness, we are seeking Jesus, the Son of God. Yes. Amen. This means working out our salvation daily as described in Philippians. Philippians 2, 12 through 13 says this, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling for it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. The closer we draw to Jesus, the more his good purpose is fulfilled in our lives. Yeah. And when we put Jesus first by aligning our priorities to his, our wants and desires begin to change. Mm. They start to become his wants and desires, yeah. his good plans and purposes for our lives. Tomorrow has enough worries of its own. Yeah. It really does. <laughs> and when you have the right priorities in the correct order, you will fulfill the promise that Jesus has for you by seeking first his kingdom and his righteousness. Yeah. Then, all the things that line up with his plan for you will be given to you. Amen. And when your heart is aligned with God's heart, you will have all you need and desire. Mm -hmm. For he desires his best for you. His plans are not your plans, and his plans are better than you could ever hope for or imagine for yourself. Mm -hmm. God promises to never leave you or forsake you. He also has mighty, awesome plans for your life. Plans that will prosper you and not harm you. His plans will give you hope and a future. That's right. That's right. Amen. Thank you so much for yes, joining us today. We do hope that you've been encouraged. Yeah. Until next time, be encouraged in Jesus' name. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us for Cell Life Church TV. Be sure to like and share this video with your friends and family. We hope you have been encouraged and invite you to join in on the discussion. If you have comments or questions about this or any of our other teachings, please comment below. You may also email us. We enjoy hearing how these messages impact your life. Please consider supporting Cell Life Church financially. You can donate to support a pastor or provide for orphans and widows. You can also provide clean water and medicine, or you can purchase Bibles for Christians and Muslim nations. Details for these and more can be found on our website at www.celllifechurch.org.